dear viewers stock market is in free fall so in this video i will discuss why the market is falling what lies ahead should you invest now and obviously how to safeguard your investment how to profit from this kind of market situation in the last section of this video i am prasenjit paul author the best selling book how to avoid loss and earn consistently in the stock market which is now available in english hindi bengali and marathi language as well and i am investing in the stock market since 2010 and achieved financial freedom from here only so first let's understand why the market is falling so much so in simple terms let's understand one by one the first is inflation what is this inflation simple the rising price of most of our daily commodities see if you look at this petrol price diesel price or the cooking gas natural gas or maybe even the home material building material steel everything almost everything you will find since the last 6 7 months the price kept increasing and this is not only in india rather an worldwide problem countries like us european union countries they are also suffering due to this same problem inflation rising prices of the commodity or most of the materials now the inflation is uh, moving up inflation is rising so why the stock market is falling see now while the inflation moves up normally central bank increase the interest rate in india like rbi like even if you follow the news just last month itself the rbi increased repo rate if you have the fixed deposit you will find the fixed deposit rate increased in the recent month as well as home loan car loan personal loan or whatever the loans so this loan in interest rate on this loans also moved up now still the question will come so now what's the direct what's the relation with the stock market inflation is moving up interest rate is moving up so why stock market is falling right so now i'll tell you like why the moving interest rate is a problem for most of the companies see most of the business took working capital loan or loan for expansion of projects and all so for example i am a business person i have one factory and few years ago i took 100 crores of loan to expand my factory or maybe i took the loan to expand my office to expand my workforce for whatever the reason so now so one year back once the interest rate keeps moving up then i need to pay more interest cost to the bank so my expense will increase and as the expense increases then the net profit so simply profit income minus expense is profit so if my expense keeps increasing and while all other things remain same then that hampers my profit so my profit figure earning per share figures are pressurized and this is the reason stock market is falling so much so in short in a environment where inflation is rising or interest rate is rising this is bad for the stock market and due to this same reason since the last several months stock market is falling badly now the next big question comes that how long the market will fall or is it the right time to start investing well to answer this we'll look at two figures first let's have a look at the nifty pe chart so as you can see in the screen back in march 2020 during covid times nifty pe dropped to 18 or 19 level and since then it bounced sharply so right now in june 2020 as well again nifty pe is hovering around 18 to 19 level so is it mean that the market will now bounce sharply no don't take any conclusion just from single data data point now the next parameter that i'll show you that's from the ticker tip website you can simply click on the link which is given in the description box of this video and install the app or if you are opening in the web browser simply sign up and then have a look at the screen click on the menu and visit this market mood so ticker tip developed a very nice tool called market mood index so as per this market mood index right now it is showing fear zone so i am following this since the last one and a half year and what i notice that it is doing fairly good job so whenever it is on the extreme fear or fear zone so it yields good result to accumulate stocks and whenever this index is on the extreme greed zone then profit booking helps a lot now this index is obviously developed using lot of figures like fii activities then uh, the volatility momentum and uh, market breadth and lot of other things so obviously here the website claims that this uh, works very well and yes personally i have tested so which is working great 
So the two data point, one side there is Nifty PE, historical Nifty PE, and the second uh, in this the ticker tape developed this market mood index. So both these things suggest that yeah, it can be a good time to invest. Now, can we expect that the market will rebound sharply from here on? Obviously, no. As per my analysis, as per my assessment, 2020 will be the year of consolidation. As we noticed back in 2015 or maybe in 2018. So don't expect any significant return in 2022 from the stock market. But this is a great time to accumulate high quality stocks that can yield great return in 23 or 24. Remember one thing, nobody can predict the market bottom. Nobody can say, okay, this is the bottom. You can invest all of your capital or this is the peak. You can book profit. No, that's not possible. But one thing one can say that whether this is an attractive level or not. So as per my, my view, it's pretty good time to accumulate good stocks over a period of next six months, seven months and hold at least for the next one to two years. Remember, don't invest any fund that you can't hold at least for the next one to two years because in this market, in the near term, within three, six months, I don't think any significant gain is waiting for us. Remember, stock selection will play a huge important role in this year. So in 2021, even if you pick any random 10 stocks out of these 10 stocks, 7 or 8 stocks will yield return in your portfolio. But in 2022, that won't be a case. So stock selection will play a huge important role. So to cover on what kind of stocks you should follow or even if you are say for example in your portfolio has 10-20 stocks. So what are the parameters that you should focus most? So the most important parameter that I'll consider is the margin. You need to look whether the company can protect margin in this environment or not. Why? Because with the rising commodity price, almost every companies are facing increasing raw material price. For example, say for example, I have a business of auto parts, maybe a car part or two wheeler part. And I use the raw material steel to manufacture that part. Okay. Now the steel price is moving up. For example, earlier it took rupees 5 to manufacture a product and I was selling at rupees 10. Now it will take from 5 rupees, it will take 7 rupees to manufacture a particular product. Now today, if I can't sell the product at 12 rupees, earlier I was selling at 10. And with the increasing cost, if I can't sell my product at higher price, my business will suffer. So it means you need to check whether a company can protect their margin or not. So again, I'll refer to the ticker tape website in my screen. So simply again, if you didn't sign up yet, so simply click on the link that is given in my description box, install the app or at least open a free account and then follow my screen. So this is ticker tape homepage. Now let's click uh, the search the stock Polycab India. Now, obviously this is just for example, obviously not a, any kind of stock recommendation from Polycab India. Now have a look at this financials and then quarterly annual quarterly margin view if you have a look at the quarterly ebi tda or operating margin trend you will find that is pretty much consistent from 8.5 percent it moved up to 10 percent 13 percent then 12.36 percent not only ebi tda the pvt the net income that i mean the net profit margin all these are showing very good trend or within a simple uh, i mean within a tight range so here are the also investment checklist you will find in under the free account you will get this checklist and under the pro account you will find this kind of default probability quality checks so quality check is showing satisfactory growth score is showing uh, satisfactory so these are just few of the investment uh, checklist now let's have a, another look of another company so indigo why i am considering indigo because indigo is the market leader in airlines uh, segment if you check flights on any sector, be it Kolkata, Mumbai, Mumbai, Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, you will find around 50% of the flights are operated by Indigo. So such a big company, but still, if you uh, look into their quarterly margin trend, what you will find, the margin is pretty erratic. So from minus 41%, it means loss that quarter the company reported loss, then 6%, then 20%, then 2%. It clearly means the company can't pass on increasing input price to the end customer. So the primary raw material is fuel. So as we know all that the fuel price increased a lot, but the airlines company, all the airlines company can't increase their fare as per their own wish. 
due to the intense competition. So simply from this point of view, I won't consider Indigo as a good investment uh, just because of this erratic and drastic change in margins. And even if you look at the checklist, so in the pro checklist also this ticker tape website is showing that quality check growth score, these are not uh, good enough, these are uh, showing poor performance. Now obviously this operating profit margin is one of the most important parameter, one of the most important investment checklist. But as you know that the entire investment decision shouldn't depend on this particular one parameter. Now obviously there are a lot of other parameters to check and for that if you don't have enough time to research the stock, if you don't have enough time to analyze every quarterly result then you can refer our website follow my portfolio service wherein I personally share what are the shares I am buying and selling with the allocation percentage. So details is available here on the link you can simply click on the link and check the website. If you learned something new from this video kindly like this video and share your feedback in the, the comment section. Also if you want to receive similar insightful video on the coming days make sure to subscribe the channel and click the bell icon so that you can get the notification. And also if you like this video here in the screen another video is coming that you will also surely like. So that's it as on today see you in some other days with a new topic. Till then happy investing.